Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. I stand before you naked to the eye, because today Ghost has released something, well actually they released something last month. It's called Spillways and I haven't listened to it yet, so I, I wanted to react to it without the distraction of clothes and fineries. Um, I want you to see the emotional response to this song which I expect to enjoy very much indeed. I really love the last thing that I covered. Um, this is from Ghost's fourth album, Imperia, and I'm excited to hear it. So, Justin Hawkins rides again 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 Yeah! <coughs> Alright! Right, so um, I've, you know, I've already, already talked about Ghost before, but uh, they are a Swedish rock band that was formed in Linkoping. I'm probably butchering that name of uh, town name, sorry. In 2006, uh, Tobias Forge is the lead singer who obscures his identity behind the character Papa Emeritus. The remaining members of the band are referred to as the Nameless Ghouls. The members of the Ghost uh, members of Ghost mimic the Roman Catholic Church, but have reverse the image to worship Satan instead of the Holy Trinity. The last thing that I covered was that thing, uh, Little Sunshine, I think it was called, and just found the production to be absolutely staggering. I was pretty blown away by how powerful everything sounded. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this. Let's get into it. Nice one. Vivo, yeah? I love Vivo. I think. You're as cold as ice you're willing to sacrifice our love. It's not that, though. Try to rid your mind of malediction, but through all this time you try to peel it. I went to see them live in uh, Zurich after covering them last time. They were very, they're very gracious, actually. They're lovely, lovely hosts. They were, they were lovely. But I was pretty, pretty impressed by um, how powerful the guitar sounded and actually the tone of them as well. You can tell they spend a lot of time on that stuff. It's like a sort of minory version of the chorus of uh, I Believe in a Thing Called Love, so obviously I love it, and also it's um, a bit sadder than what we normally do. But actually, that if you listen to that chord sequence there, it's more along the lines of... Um, your, your poison running through my veins oh. All your faith, all your rage, all your pain It ain't over now and I ain't talking about forgiveness There's all these cool, cool um, key changes And then it goes somewhere unexpected It's almost sort of Abba-esque in its, uh, the way it changes colour there Going from this kind of And then, after a little turnaround, it goes. So the relationship between those four chords is the same as the previous four chords, but it's like four semitones down. It's a really interesting key change. But just sort of, um, the melody sort of justifies it though and leads you to it in a way that sounds natural, but there's something sort of supernatural about it as well. <laughs> They're so clever, aren't they? Even that sort of harmonised guitar part sounds like, uh, like one of the, the post-chorus tags that you'd find in, a, in an ABBA song. Okay, so it's cool. It's, uh, it's mostly on A minor. Okay, solo over the chorus. Harmonized. <laughs> yeah, it's just another really good song, isn't it? It's through the spillways Through the spillways of your soul There's not much to it, really. So like, I think the verse is basically just... B 
variations on an A minor theme to a D minor G and then when it comes back to the A it does this um, and it seems like that's just a, like a throwaway little turnaround bit you know like For something, but what it's not preparing you for is the chorus, which is this. Yeah, it's like. So it's the same sequence as the tag at the end of the sort of pre chorus bit, uh, up just after that A minor to a D minor G bit. Um, and it's the same relationship between the chords, played in exactly the same way, but it's in F instead of A. So it goes down four semitones. It's a, it's a weird sort of. Um, uh, modulation, harmonic modulation that just makes you think, where am I? I I know this riff, this is eerily familiar, but uh, I don't know where I've heard it. Oh, I just heard it a second ago, but it was in a different key. And it's quite discombobulating, but it's a really brilliant trick because it gives you a chance to do something pretty straight on the chorus, which is like a... Through the spillways Through the spillways of your soul Through the spillways so I think by you know by ghost standards that's actually a really reduced and straightforward approach to a chorus but the way they got there was really interesting so it's kind of like a relief after all that um uh you know disorienting uh, key manipulation that they've been doing um it's a really clever song uh, it sounds powerful it's not as um ACDC-esque. It doesn't sound as much like um, For Those About to Rock as that last one I, I covered. But this is more like a sort of... Um, this is more like them doing... Uh, sounds a bit like Cold as Ice in the, at the very beginning of it. And the, 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 you know, it's, it's got a bit of that. But what I think they're doing is more like a... Um, your poison running through my veins Your poison... Through the slipways of your, through the spillways of your soul, your poison. You know, it's it's. This is more like them doing something like a "Don't Fear the Reaper," poison Alice Coopery type thing. Um, it's not them doing DC, um, but it's still it's still powerful and really interesting because of the way they do that key stuff. That's very clever. Um, so again, yeah, nice one, Ghost. Brilliant stuff. John! Justin Hawkins writes again, again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos. Nice one, guys. See you on the eyes. All right.